This is Saving Flow Show's premier anime game <laughs> brought to you by Very Big Shenanigans and also uh, shows such as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Madoka Magica, and video games such as Persona 5 or Shin Megami Tensei 3. Oh God, stop the pain. My name is. Dean I don't Martin. know. I think we're starting to wander into Oron Host Club for, at this oh, point. It is a hundred percent Oron Host Club up in here. Okay, we got Kiss Kiss Fall in Love like you wouldn't believe. We got himbos galore. We got pretty people. We got glitter. We have shipping on deck. We have people making elaborate fantasies about other characters' uh, lives. Oh yeah, we got it all. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Jump up. I don't know nothing about that either. But yes. Uh, so real quick before we get started on this, we are still aiming for 250 in episode in tips. I know this is a big ask, but we, listen, between Patreon, this, uh, and our tips, that's what keeps the show afloat and what keeps our people paid. Look at these people. Look at these faces. Look at them. They're beautiful. Don't you want them to get guacamole onto Chipotle? Like, uh, that costs extra. Oh, I, I, I fixed, fixed it. it. You ready? Oh, there you go. And proper All right, take effects. it from the top? Nope. nope. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, if, if you can't tip, that's totally cool. We're glad you're here anyway. Uh, just do us a solid, spread the word, share the love, join us on Discord or wherever. Uh, and don't forget, for $15, you can get your own uh, $15 or five gift subs. We like to send a message that we will read live on air. To be exact, if I say we, I mean our mysterious uh, announcer lady. She has a very colorful life, you know? We don't know much about her, and I'm okay with that. But we got to send... But we do have to send our love to Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. We use Roll20 here for most of our... For most everything now, it is a wonderful free platform. It's a virtual tabletop. You do not need to, you know, learn coding to use it. It's idiot proof. I know. I use it. And it is wonderful. Also has a huge variety of music and tools. So check it out. Roll20.com. I, I, I would just like to interject here to say a friend said something about my other friend. My other friend. I would like them to stop saying about my friends. I apologize. I apologize, and I would also have to apologize if I didn't tell you about our friends over at Die Hard Dice. Smooth as butter, mate. Uh, use command exclamation point DH Dice in chat, uh, and if you use natural 20 at checkout, you get 10% off. You can even go ahead and buy Critical Bard's dice. Check them out. I'm going to throw it over to the Critical Bard real quick. Look at them. Yeah. Look yeah. at them. It's going to happen. It's going to happen this time. It never happened. Come on. Emuate it. I quit. I quit. Wow. <laughs> I quit. I tried. Ooh, oh. It never, never happened. See that. <laughs> and with all of that house cleaning out of the way, whew, that was a lot. Let's go ahead and beat our table, starting with someone you know, you love, and we're so glad she's back. It's R.I.P. Mika. I thought you were going to throw it to someone else for a second as like a little curveball. Hi. I know you guys don't remember me. It's been a long two weeks. It's been a while. <laughs> it's R.I.P. Mika. Uh, I'll be playing Dahlia Wingrove who I've been told was on a theater expedition, a little theater trip for the last yes. two weeks. She's come back refreshed, feeling more creative than ever, and uh, having a lot of monologues under her belt now. She won't recite them, though. She did not win prizes for them, so. Oh. It's okay. There was a Is kid it? from New York that won, and, you know, maybe if she would have been born in New York, things would have been different. Who knows? As we all know, it's where you're from, not what you do, apparently. Moving right along, they are uh, starting up a host club in the abandoned music room of the, their private academy. It's Critical Bard. Oh, yeah, uh, cool. That, that makes sense. Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also, also known, known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh and today I am playing Kawame Akinimi, um, a high schooler, a junior 
in high school, uh, who was captain of the basketball team and is not on the school safety squad and doesn't have a crush on, on Linux Thatcher at all. Uh, and uh, his divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. And uh, yeah, that that that's him. I think, yeah, that's it. Bye. You missed a few things, Dahlia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone's got to make Nautica's fan fictions come true, y'all. Oh my gosh. Next up, no, they will not read your fanfic. It's Aki. I will if it's good. I, I am an avid supporter of all fan fiction unless it's real person slash. And then otherwise, that's like, no. Um, but yeah, uh, hi, everybody. I am Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, uh, otherwise known as Manny. And uh, my divinity is Ma'at, the goddess of truth, justice, and ooh, harmony. And um, yeah, they are, they are currently trying to come to grips with the fact that they might be potential leadership material, which is odd to them. And last but certainly not least, I don't have anything funny to say because they're too funny. It's mostly Eric. Hello, everybody. I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, the, the the former captain of the football team. Uh, now, I, I, in between her, not sure what he's doing. Uh, but you know what? He got pulled into a pride parade last week. Uh, and, uh, you know, he came out and he... It changed some he of his did. fashion. He came but, out. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. He's, he, he, he puts, puts a lot, lot more gel, gel in his hair now. I don't know. He puts a lot more gel in his hair now. Is gel gay? Uh, <laughs> I mean... Depends on what gel you're talking about. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I don't have a response to that. <laughs> oh, oh, hell, that's, that's all I can say, say to that one. one. <laughs> there are people in chat that are like, I gel my hair. Am I gay? <laughs> we are all leaning by ourselves, ourselves over at Saving Coast. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody. It's a, it's a learning experience for everyone involved. <laughs> Eric, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, what, what, what would a teenage teenager do at this moment? moment? Oh, God. <laughs> More gel? More gel. Uh, More gel. Okay, I haven't been a teenager in 20 years. <laughs> Perfume. I don't know. Quick, spray yourself with Axe. That's heterosexual. Oh, 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 oh I, I just got, got flashbacks. flashbacks. I, 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 I got, got that, that was a hate crime against my spirit. Don't mention my <laughs> damn ex. <laughs> you don't need a shower after gym. You just need to <laughs> just drench please, yourself please. in axe you're, body you're, spray, right? You're dredging up some like PTSD gym experience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Having to walk by the men's gym room and just being like, huh. it's, a, it's a cloud. Just just, it's a cloud. You're holding your breath for like 10 minutes at a time oh. trying to get out of here. Can you tell we haven't all been together in a while and we've obviously missed each other? Yes. This is a product of that. Anywho. Oh, okay. Anywho. Whew. So. It has been a pro it's been about four or five days since uh great. We rest. Get our stuff. You back. have rested. You are at full MP and AP. And, and you gotta reset HP yours, Dalio. Huh. No one's go hopefully no one dies this week. Then again, hopefully. no one died last week. So uh we all you got know. pretty freaking close again. We now. got that was, that was rough. Hey, it's been 14 days since a character had to roll to die, so I'm calling that a win. Regardless, it's been about four days since the return of Brendan Shock. Uh, after the inexplicable pride parade at the town cemetery, don't worry about it. Uh, you guys found Brendan and you managed to remove the scarecrow from his soul. Uh, it was a brutal experience. There was a giant flaming candle at some point. 
<laughs> Nika. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I think we need to we'll recap. Uh, what you no, have? Yes. No. We'll do it in character. We'll do it in character. We'll do it in character. Yep. This yep. Is your face is just the best thing. <laughs> it's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. So, with that. And after Brendan's inexplicable return to school, he has not left the school infirmary for several days now. Uh, he has just not woken up. So that is the whispered conversation among students as we open on the uh, North Point Academy track and field field. Wide open green and Kim is laughing so hard as you three try to explain to Dahlia what exactly happened. And we have music now. Yeah, well, you see um, uh, Kawame is like in, uh, what time of day is it? This is, at, so you are all currently in gym class. Enjoy your little right. shorts and yeah. ugly scratchy t-shirts. Oh, they're horrible. Uh, oh, no, Kwame doesn't have a shirt on right now. Uh, but uh, he does, he has, has a shorts. He's hello. probably like stretching, stretching out, um, getting the legs prepped so he can, you know, he got to have his hops for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the basketballs, sports balls. Um, and he, yeah, he, yeah, uh, yeah uh, I'm sure, you know, they can explain exactly what happened, but it was well, crazy. I, obviously nothing big had to happen because I've only been gone for two weeks. <laughs> um, well, I mean, there was, I mean, after, after I managed to keep, you know, Spiro from nearly getting killed, you know, we had those keys that we needed to go track down. Brendan was missing for a while. Um, I fell out of a window. Uh, yeah. it was like four stories up. It like heck of hurt. Yeah, um, it's been it's been a little bit it's been a little bit weird. We're now looking so, for we've got we've got one out of the six keys that flew out of the out of the door. Um, yeah, there were there was a hand and we closed the door and then keys fell out and then they went something in. about Odin, you know, like o Overlord or all or all they state, went to like, all father, all father, that one. Yeah. All state. Yeah, I flew. Oh. I I could fly or whatever. Uh, and I chase him, and then they like one of them touched Brendan, and his eyes went all purple, and then he kicked me out a window. Um, but I didn't die or nothing. This is so weird. So I thought that I was gonna have the fun news coming back from theater camp because we did a production of Peter Pan super fast within one week, and we used fly pulleys. And oh my gosh, you should have seen Tyler was in the fly pulley and he knocked down three of the flats on the set That's because he, Tyler. he didn't know how to use it. I, I thought that I was going to have the fun stuff to talk about like that. I don't know. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. You got to be on the, what character did you play? You were I the was, crocodile, right? That's a good one, right? I believe I read the story. It's very informative to No. I'm going, okay, I'm just going to, you know. It's yeah, that sounds like. Because this is the thing. I could see you playing either Peter Pan or Wendy. <clears throat> yeah. You I was actually cast as me. Oh. And that's what kills Kim. And that's when Kim was just, just about done. Just about done. Falls over laughing again. So, so you probably had like, like a heck of more exciting time than us. Because all we did was uh, we hung out here. Uh, then we went to the graveyard. Uh, and then uh, a demon showed up. Uh, popped out of Brennan. the pride parade. And then uh, a pride parade showed up and covered uh, Kwame with glitter. We don't uh, talk about it. You can still see it on him. Uh, no, you can't. And then, uh, then, then, then we fought. Then Kwame turned into a giant, like, heckin' spider and became a really pride fellow. Uh, and then we beat a demon. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Why you mean? Oh, my God, you missed everything. No, yeah, I didn't even... I didn't even get to bring home any trophies because I didn't win anything. So you mm -hmm. saying I could have stayed here and I could have... I have FOMO. I have really bad FOMO right now. Dahlia, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be this person as I do this very uh, tip, uh, wide um, uh, split on the ground. I'm only doing like a, <laughs> uh, a full out split and I'm like stretching out the, uh, the, the inner muscle. Um, <clears throat> you didn't die or almost die. So you shouldn't have FOMO because we almost died. Oh, no, but one. you guys got to go to the pride parade. And no, it came to, to us. There's a big difference. It I came think, to us. I, I think I have a solution for this problem. Since you, 
since you missed Ugh. these last couple of weeks and couldn't and couldn't fight evil with us and we couldn't be with you doing fun theater things why don't why don't all of us audition for the musical this year <sighs> Kim, stop even Kwame um, Kwame, well, thing, that thing, makes thing, me so happy see, that I, you would agree I'm, to I'm, that. I'm, so I'm, the, nice I'm the captain of, of the basketball team, and I'm technically, oh you know, I'm part God. of the school safety what squad, happened? so I'm already booked. Like I can't do musical. more. Can't do more. Like nope. You're Troy Bolton. Oh, no, we have to find Bolton. you a Gabriella. Actually, uh, I, I I know like both you've been on the basketball team for this entire time, but also brand new, and those two realities are in my head. But like, uh, it's highly encouraged uh, that uh, that sports people take uh, theater for for movement and stuff and versatility. Oh, and also no, diverse, I'm in I'm in the movement yeah. class. That's why I could, that's why I'm doing the split as I speak. <laughs> There's a reason I can do this. I think oh. we should all audition for the musical. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's not it's about great, like, like the movement, you know. It's about the movement of your soul being in theater. Okay. The only uh, thing my soul wants to be moved by. I died. Do I still have to participate? Of I, course. I, I, yes. I don't have a soul. Okay. I didn't. As want to part of the guys, school safety just, squad, which all of we are, we do things I, together. We're not. Yeah, and, and also uh, like I thought not you to, were a part of it, and so you were too booked to do anything, Kwame. But yes, well, not you just said you were, and I'm lies. not doing this Well, if you're not the school safety lies. squad, then you can be in the theater squad. Since I, you have an opening. I, I'm the captain of the basketball squad, and I'm saying that as captain, my time is very valuable. Val, 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 is val, everything in the school a squad? Yeah. Kwame stares at Manny. Gosh, it's gonna be so cool when we all try out together. What if we have our auditions back to back? What are you guys gonna sing? What if we could do like a group song? We could do a group audition and then we could really shine because I think we could play off of each other really well and I could give you something to react to and you could give me something back and it'll be such a cool experience together. <laughs> yeah, and Manny just looks right back at Kwame. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. You owe me chili dogs. <laughs> okay. But like the good chili, not that stuff you put in the can. I want like good home cooked chili. Okay. You guys are maybe so happy. Not the, not the hot. Okay, fine. Go in for a group hug. Kwame still doing a split on the ground is pulled into <laughs> a group <laughs> hug. And that's how you set up a musical episode. That's it. We did it. I guess that's how this is happening now. I had this whole thing planned. I'm just going to take that and throw it away. <sighs> it's nice to have these brief moments of normalcy at North Point Academy. With students going missing and doors to oblivion appearing and creatures calling themselves the All-Father popping in and out of existence, it makes it very difficult to remember that you are, at the end of the day, a bunch of teenagers. And then you hear, dun, 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 as there are two announcements today from, well, let's see who they're from. All right, kids, uh, welcome back uh, in for another school day. I hope you all have a great time. We got some announcements that we want to talk about. Uh, first is, uh, Mel P Pomano uh, says, uh, Oh, with the, with the, I think this is, is this, did, did they do Welsh again? I, I didn't, I, I didn't take Welsh, I took French. Uh, God wish Elban Blachelfen prove happy pride from the Welsh language society. Uh, let your pride flag fly. Uh, it's, it's nice and inclusive. Thank you so much. And then we got one from. The five foot Latina says, uh, South Point High School mascot, uh, Aran the sheep is missing again. Uh, I'm, I'm sure no North Point students are involved in the sheep napping as they have not been for the last 24 years. Can you just give back the sheep? Okay, people. It's just fine. Like, it's all fun and games until, you know, a sheep goes missing. That's all I say. Anyway, that's all we got for announcements. You kids, uh, Salisbury steak for dinner. <laughs> As you hear a very gentle ba in the background, the gym teacher comes out to the field, a tired, 
tired, athletic-looking woman, well into her 50s, graying and played by none other than... God, who's the woman from Halloween? Oh, oh Jamie oh. Lee Curtis. Jamie no. Lee Curtis, thank you. Oh, okay, you're right. I was, I was thinking, thinking Halloween, Halloween Town. Halloween Town? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't That's thought Debbie about Reynolds. that movie in That's years. Debbie Reynolds. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> Debbie Thank you. Same brain. Same brain. <laughs> All right, students, today we're doing archery. A few quick things. One, if I see you point an arrow at another student, I'm going to physically hurt you. I'm pretty sure that's against the you know, policy, but okay, noted. What if it's not in our bow? I don't care if it's in your bow or not. Point an arrow at someone, I'm gonna pile drive you. If, and by the way, too, if anyone brings up my pro wrestling career again, I will also pile drive you. You seem very upset about something. <laughs> don't worry about it. I should have had that title last night. It's fine. Anyway, three. They're over there, have fun. I need to call my agent. Wow, I didn't know that we had such a celebrity in uh, Mist. Yeah, it was... It's kind of a shame, like, because, uh, like, you know, normally in a tag team, you know, you got a tag, but, like, and then they, they ganged up on her, and the the ref was, was blinded by blinding powder, and then, uh, like, then they, they pinned... It was, it was like a whole thing, and they stole the match. It was, like, really sad. Oh, I didn't know you watched uh, wrestling. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, hecka good. I used to watch when I was a kid, and then I didn't anymore because it, I, you know, the KFAP thing just didn't work for me anymore. I like mm -hmm. the story within the story, but like the story just weakened. It. But if you like it now, may, uh, I, uh, I will um, say, yeah, it's it's lost its touch. It's like mostly about like contract negotiation nowadays, uh, and that's not as interesting as like you know back when it was a necromancer bringing people back to the dead and whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. and also that guy that would go like and then drink a lot of beer. Diamond Dallas Page, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, you, you just brought up Kim removes her sunglasses for the first time since coming out on the field because you know Kim is that girl who walks the mile every week and uh, participated in that I got dressed and I picked up the ball. What more do you want? Are you saying there's a uh, a sport activity sort of deal that I could do where I could totally just play up the living dead girl thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you if you wanted to, like, yeah, that's pretty much all wrestling. It's just like a it's like a a soap opera with like a stunt show thrown in there. Violence, and I get to dress up stupid. Oh, this yeah. is perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god, Manny, Manny, you want to be my tag team partner? Uh... You can be the necromancer. I'll be the dead girl. I don't want to be a necromancer. Okay, what about Matt Scientist? Well, you could also be uh, like, you can be Kim's agent. Like you You're like be, the manager. Like Yeah, like, you could be like... I like, think I like uh, that a little Paul bit Bearer. better. <laughs> Paul Bearer? Paul, better. Paul Bearer? Yeah, mm -hmm. he was the manager of... of uh, 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 the, Undertaker? the Undertaker? The, 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 the Overtaker. I mean, Paul Bearer. It's just a Paul Bearer. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's his name. I mean, it wasn't his real name, but his name was Paul Bearer, and he was his manager. And he had like he was always like pale white, and he wore a suit. It was... You don't have to do that though. That's a little much. You could you could be you could be like the embalmer, you know, just keeping up with the Egyptian thing. You'd be like Anubis or Osiris. You could be Osiris or the cremator. Ooh. Well, I was I was thinking about <laughs> yeah. e Egyptian mythology, you know. Um, my art. You what, what's to the thing it. that? What's that? What's that? The mummifier. Oh, that's a good one. But what's that hook thing? Uh, Egyptians used to use to shove up the nose and remove the brain. Like, uh, can we use what? that in a match? Is that the legal? Okay, that's legal? No, that that's 1950s white people. Oh, oh okay. Oh, right. um, I'm more than happy to like play the manager if I don't have to actually do any fighting. Um. What are you talking about? We fight like all the time. I I know. That's kind of the point. Uh, what if you're just the one that comes in and slaps the ring? Well, f first of all, first of all, and like I like put my arm around Manny. 
let's make sure they actually want to do this. What, what if they want to be, I don't know, like a um a, a decathlon um participant, or if they want to um go to um Venus or something, they might not want to be a you know a manager for for you know wrestling. That's your dream. You don't have to put that on many. You're just trying to get out of having to audition for the musical, aren't you? Mm, yeah. Mm. You can't get out because you you the moment's already passed. Also, like you know, uh, professional wrestling's kind of like a like pretty much all under the sun, thumb of Vince McMahon, and he's kind of a terrible person. He's the so, worst. Yeah. Um. I don't. Th- I don't think the uh, unofficial Oregon Wrestling League or whatever it's called qualifies. The the it is called the Owl. The Owl. Really? And they say. Hoot, hoot. You're a fault wow. of knowledge. I know, right? Well, mm-mm. for a guy not into it, you know a lot about it. No, I didn't say I wasn't into wrestling. I said I was into wrestling as a kid and I just stopped watching it. But if it's good again, like Lenny says, then, you know, I wouldn't mind watching it with him. Or, or I mean, if you want to, um, um, if you want to be a wrestler, your undead priestess, banshee, wailing woman, ya la yarona. But no, you're not. Never mind. That's go to appropriation. That is, but I do like the banshee idea because I am uh, white and I can do that one. Then you're a banshee. Honestly, so you, you can don't... scream. Sweet. You, you don't even need like a gimmick these days. There's one dude who's like real popular and his whole thing is that he's a vegan and he says yes a lot. That's the most boring thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, but he's really cool. <laughs> I... Uh, I don't have a yes? response to that. As long as they just stop trying to make Roman Reyes a thing. Like, they want him to be a thing, but he's just not a thing. No one knows who that is, you nerd. If anything, Kimmy, I am here to support your dreams. In whatever Yes, and that's I why can. I love you, and you're... She immediately goes for a hug. And that's why I love you, and you're my favorite, and you are so going... And I'm so going to put you in a costume, and you're so going to uh, come with me. Okay... She lets go and heads over to the uh, bows and arrows as other students have gathered around, uh, given no real instruction by the teacher, who is currently on her cell phone yelling at someone named Steve, as you do. Kim lines up her shot, gives it a throw, and gets a bullseye in one. Is the Morgan like a, a deity of like archery or like or 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 precision or something? Because that was really good. No, no, all skill, all me. Behind her, the uh, swarf of feathers appears, and even though they don't have a face, you can tell that it's giving her side eye. Mm. I will walk over to um, the um, uh, archery as well and get a bow. And look at the group like, uh, we're still in class. You can't skip. Let's go. I get to I mean, shoot the arrows at No one pays attention. Yes. I'm into that. Uh, I, I like to think that um, Manny is actually a really good archer. And this is uh, one of the few things that they excel at. Let's see if the dice say so. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes, gladly. Okay, now, if you're going to use Ma'at, I'd like to hear how. But otherwise, it's just going to be a dexterity roll. Um, I don't <laughs> think this is something that they need. Like, this is this is something I think that they, they were fairly decent at before Ma'at. At least I hope the dice will say so. Uh, watch, the dice will not. Uh, but, you know, we live in hope. Um, but yeah, like, they're, they're not great at academics, but P, P is pretty, pretty okay. All right. Manny's not good at academics. What? Manny is actually really not a good student. Like they're <laughs> they're a good student in that like they try really hard. Like there's always effort being yeah. put in, but they're not they're not the the sharpest tool in the shed. So uh, the fact that they were Manny. chosen chosen by Maat is actually a pretty big deal for them. So you got uh, this. Am I, am I rolling decks for this? For this yes, mess? you are now. Here's how it's going to work. A five means you hit the target. 
Ha. Anything above a 10 means you get a bullseye. I can't possibly roll above a six, so let's see how this goes. I rolled a one. Oh. Okay, uh, we've Can all- Can I? Oh. So I'm watching. Uh, I have my bow, but as I'm there, I'm watching. Does it seem like they're like really intent and like trying like their best to hit this target? Of course, they like is doing it, this. Is it? Does it seem like out of fun, or does it seem like they really want to get it? They really want to get it. Okay. Uh, watching, uh, I just like take a small step back. I think I'm behind Manny. I take a small uh, step back and I say, Nancy. Nancy, use your web. Make it true. Anansi uh, pops up, currently dressed in uh, a luchador outfit. Kind of cultural appropriation, but it's very cute as a spider. Luckily, you're a spider. Oh, okay, we're doing this. I thought we were going wrestling, but uh, okay. Uh, that is not my thing. No, no. I mean, if you want to, have fun. Oh, but no, you, it's not your thing, but you would make it your thing. Okay, we are slowing down time just a bit so we can have this small conversation. Make them hit the target, please. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, go ahead and give me intelligence and uh, power. Intelligence power! And uh, spend an AP point. Wow. Wow. Also, uh, thanks to our chat, wow. we have unlocked rerolls. I'm using a reroll. I'm taking it. Because I didn't take any last game. No, uh, I'm taking this too. one. Uh, yeah, and so do you only roll one of the dice or both of the dice? Uh, you roll both. Okay, because it's I got a, a three and a one on two d10. Uh, we're gonna try that again. Seventeen. There we go. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Manny, you shoot the arrow and it just kind of goes no, oh, and you can tell. Oh, this isn't gonna work. And then it just goes whoop. Right in the dead center of the target. Everyone's impressed that apparently they have a they have the green arrow here. Wow. Oh. Woo! And you see both Okawame and Anansi are like doing like the typical spider dance that they do. Spider dance. Spider dance. Spider dance. That's like a, a heck of a good shot. It was a really good shot. I didn't think I was gonna make it. The wind conditions must be really great today. Oh yeah. I want to try. Look, yeah. You are the Let's you are the, the the emissary of the of the goddess of truth. It only makes sense that your shot would ring true. Nice cover. Shh. All right. Uh -huh. It's my turn. Let me try. Lenny's going to try and see how well he does. Okay. I I maxed out the diet at 8. Lennox, you uh you've never done this before, but you're kind of a natural athlete when push comes to shove and it just poof, maybe not dead center but you do hit it and that's better than a lot of students oh sick okay that's not bad i mean not, i mean obviously manny's better yeah but i mean not, not bad at all yeah let, 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 me, let, me, let me let me let me do this uh i'm not gonna be good at all but i'm going to try hey okay not bad actually i hit uh what did you get? A six okay, on a D yeah, six. That's all I could do. <laughs> it is not anything mind blowing, but you definitely hit the target. Uh, it's not my thing. I mean, if 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 you were an archer in England, you would have taken out some fool right there. Hmm. Maybe would have maybe like pissed an artery or something, but. Luckily, this bullseye thing target is not a um, a person. You don't you don't shoot people with arrows. You shoot them with justice or water. What? What about uh, very dangerous feathers? I just chop people in half with a sword. Wow, we should not have this conversation in public. Wait, Dalia. Dalia, go, I, Dalia. I would like to try. It reminds me of Ka, which is a Cirque du Soleil show, uh, where they have 10 archers that come out and fire a bunch of arrows, and then there's cannons that fire arrows, too. I got a 10. Nice. We all maxed out our dice. Yes, we did. <laughs> I, I Other did. than Manny. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Dahlia, what makes it all the better is 
I I'm imagining Dahlia is shooting. And she's not shooting, but she's and like just <laughs> gushing about circus into the leg. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, amazing. Did you guys ever see that show? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I thought Kai was like a snake in in the jungle wow. book. Wow. Is it ten a bullseye or is it an eleven? A ten's a bullseye. Oh, cool. Wow. Just dead center, not even looking. Whoa, Dahlia, you're so cool. Do you think I should try out for Cirque du Soleil after high school? Yeah. I Wait, hold on, hold on. What the, I mean, Dahlia, you were good. I'm not going to take away from your moment. <laughs> but do you see many shots? It's like it went through the bullseye. Like like the world thought it wasn't going there, and it said, ding, it's right there. I, but, I think Manny should try out for Cirque du Soleil. So, 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 so. We can so, all try out for Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. <gasps> It'll be no, like how we're trying out. Audition no, for things, please. no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but imagine we would have five people to be five of the ten archers and Ka no. is about the Egyptian belief. No. I thought we were all about the gods here. I thought maybe we'd want to do that together. But do we have to do... Okay, look, it is one or the other. <laughs> I either do powder beret kickball change or I shoot an arrow with the the the, the Cirque, Cirque du Soul people. Well, I think once you do the powder beret kickball change, you'll change that, your mind and you'll do Cirque du Soleil with me. You're right about <laughs> that, huh? <laughs> is it is it is it lunchtime yet? I would like to get some food. I'm taking a shower after this. Don't know I'm alone. I go alone, obviously. And then and Why then Why would we uh, assume otherwise? I don't know. Dahlia wants to do everything together. Not shower. Mm. Shower is my solo time. Hey Spiro, do you want to shower with us? Uh from down the field, uh Spiro, who you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and roll for him. He's not the most dext dexterous, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, he's not bad, he got a six. Yes. Uh, uh, I would guess, I guess this is a hypothetical. If you could, if 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 we all were cool with it, you know, consent is everything, and you wanted to shower I with gotta go. us. No, 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 no! I like put my arm on your shoulder, and I have at least a plus six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to move. And What's that, just teacher? Up dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I see what Kwame is trying to say. I think it, it, it's worth pointing out that uh, as all of us are uh, underage, uh, we are legally not able to consent. <laughs> Says the person who well, can summon beer at the, at the snap of their finger. Yeah. But you're correct. Yes, underage people cannot consent. No, they cannot. Anyone saying otherwise is kind of creepy. But and when we were well, kids in high school, we all know what we did. Or some of us, at least. Anyway, is, is Dahlia going to be the one that's like, actually, age of consent in this state is 16 years old? No. Oh, yeah, don't be that creepy person. <laughs> no. <laughs> but Spiro, ta Spiro uh, trots on over. Uh, now, uh, who am I showering with? No, uh, if, 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 if one, uh, you know, this uh, uh, example, Oh, Dahlia, would you what if 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 consent was there between you two, two youngins together, it, would you not not shower with, but like in vicinity, like would you, would you um, would you shower with Dahlia? Yeah. Why is this conversation happening? This is this is the I, most high school conversation I've ever experienced. <laughs> As you all bond over this incredibly silly conversation. Bonding, uh, is, bonding is a strong is a word. Strong right there. <laughs> Look, we're we got to do everything together. We're doing everything heroes, together. We have justice in reverse. Uh oh. Now, once again, for our uh, for especially our newer audience, uh, the deck of heroes is all the major arcana in a tarot deck, as I have taken inspiration from Jodas Bizarre Adventure and the Persona series. Tarot means something in those, and as such, uh, we do have associated tarot with these four, the major arcana. Now, justice in reverse. I think that means something bad's about to happen. To who? 
I need all of you to roll dexterity again. Yikes. I got a six. Three. Two. <laughs> Is there a one? Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> Here I go again. Hey! I maxed out my die. Very good. Very good. Uh, actually, uh, we were looking for a four. Did anyone roll below a four? Lenny! Have you ever taken a dodgeball to the face? Uh, Lenny, uh, probably not, but he wasn't in, in competitive football, so he's been tackled by very large people. <laughs> yes, uh, you all hear the strange sound of rubber flying through the air as several kickballs just come out of nowhere, and one of them just box Lenny directly in the face. Lenny may uh, not you... have had that happen, but Eric has. It's a distinct sound. It's it a is, very it distinct is. noise. Ding. <laughs> like, <ding. laughs> what about Kwame, who also rolled below a four? Did Kwame roll below I got, a four? I got lower than Linux, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, I no. Well, it happens to Linux first, so everyone gets that good laughing, and then it happens to Kwame. Look at that. Has... <laughs> no. mm. I imagine that's when everybody falls silent. Because <laughs> one I... of them is still a, a captain of a... Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, fall sports. down to the ground, and I... Uh... And like almost like you see like flame or like smoke begin to rise off of me as I like stand up and like look who threw that ball or or kicked it whatever you did. Uh, there's just kind of a stunned silence, and then you hear someone go, "Where did my arrow go?" Mm -mm. I need everyone to roll dexterity again. <gasps> what the fuck is going on? Eight, two, five. Oh boy. One. <laughs> There's that one we were looking for. Would you like a use a reroll? No. <laughs> okay. I'm good too. All right. So Manny and Lennox both failed. We were looking for a four again. Both of you take one damage as arrows come dangerously close to your face. What is, what is, what is going on? Students begin to scream and panic as arrows begin flying out of seemingly nowhere. And I need everyone to give me an intelligence roll real fast if you'd like to find out where they're coming from. Seven. Six. Lower. Five, four? Four. Uh, I got, I maxed out my, my, my die. Six. All right. All right. Uh, y'all rolled above the four, it sounds like. So you mm -hmm. all notice the arrows are coming from the targets. They're shooting out of the target? Yes. Backwards, or they're just like appearing out of the target? Appearing out of the target. Um, I don't think hear... the target likes to get any shot at. Kawame just screams out. He looks at Kim and Spiro. Uh, I don't know if Nick's here. Probably not. He's a freshman. Um, but I look at them and they look at us. And I say, everyone out. This is a school safety squad issue. Please leave the premises. Um, we have, um, 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 Anansi, can you make like, um, um, act no, um, actually, um, uh, is there a fire alarm somewhere? Uh, it is a school that was built after the 1800s, so yes, there is Great. a fire alarm. I just like, I guess like, um, oh, and I go over to the fire alarm, and I guess like pull it uh, down. See? Alarm! Leave! Get out! Uh, thankfully, you don't even have to uh, roll for this. Between the arrows and the fire alarm, students are fleeing uh, the fields. You see uh, some students that were uh, doing gymnastics or track and field are also running for their lives. Okay. I okay. would I would like, as they're clearing out, to summon my sword. And uh, once you are alone, your sword appears in your hand. What, le uh, what Manny does is they throw the sword up into the air and the sword begins to spin uh, and basically deflect arrows from hitting us. Oh, love that. Nice. I, okay. um, I also um, 
I say, uh, for that, by the way. do you, can you, do we think this is like an invisible creature or is something taking over it? This thing? A shapeshifter? I, I don't know, but for now I'm going to try and keep us from getting hit again. And like the sword just kind of spins in the air. It's like, it's a lot like that moment in, uh, in the Hobbit where like the dwarves shoot those big things like spin in the air and like knock all the arrows out of the air. Nice. Uh, that actually aki could i get a roll of dexterity and uh range for uh manny sure that eight. is an eight all right just gonna make a little roll in private real quick yeah, that's good all right you managed to put up effectively a shield of a spinning sword between all of you. Um, and I need everyone to roll me initiative. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ten. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is dex and, and, and Ooh, speed. Speed. That's a rough initiative. Yeah. Oof, same. Oh, boy. Oh. Four. The good cool. news is Dolly and Kwame are going on the same turn. Cool. All right. So. Twerk team. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible entity is going to, oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Uh, Manny, you're, you notice the arrows have stopped. But you also notice your sword is suddenly, in the blink of an eye, on the other side of the field. <gasps> My sword. Good 100 yards away. That bitch took my sword. <gasps> and that's going to be its first action from the unseen enemy. Now, uh, I believe next up is Emancipation. All right. Manny is going to... Uh immediately run after their sword uh but as they do they would like to attempt to manifest uh something new huh uh as they run towards uh their sword uh there's a sword of truth obviously but there's also a shield of truth and i would like to manifest a shield as I run towards my sword. Okay. I'm totally cool with that. Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and spend an AP point and uh, I don't think I'm going to make you roll to get a shield. I'm just going to make you spend an AP point to have the shield. Okay. Uh, the shield is like uh, the type of shield they had back then, like circular le like metal and leather kind of combination uh, sort of thing. Embossed uh, perhaps with like some uh, hieroglyphics that tell the story of Maat. Um, so yeah. Nice. And as you run, I need you to give me a. Uh, I need a speed roll. Okay. Uh... It's an eight. All right, um, Manny, you make a beeline for your sword. And somehow you're at the front gate of the quad now. Kwame, Dolly, and Lenny, you all see Manny run in one direction, and in the blink of an eye, they're behind you. Uh, what the fuck? Where was uh, Manny in terms of where the targets are? Manny was running towards the targets. Okay. Are our arrows still in the target where we shot them? Uh, they are not. I think... I think we're shooting at ourselves. <laughs> what? I don't know. My brain kind of hurts thinking about this. But we shot arrows and then we were shot at with the arrows that are no longer there and you were running, but now you're behind us, which makes me think there's wormholes. Uh, 
I'll get my odd on it as soon as it's my turn again. I wanna, I wanna. <laughs> can I turn around and shoot in the other direction to see? It's not even your turn. Oh, it you're, is not right, your turn. you're right. On your turn, I you're will right. allow that. But right now, okay. it's Lenny's turn. Lenny, okay. uh, time, space, and anomalies are happening. Just another day in Oregon. Yeah. Lenny's worried that there's like weird invisible portals that send you places. Uh, so I'm gonna use my power. I'm a I'm going to make it like rain. I'm going to see if I can't just make like water fall on the field as much as I can just to see if I can't like see in anything like any weird portal, see if some, like a water goes one way and comes out another or whatever. So we can see what we got working with. All right. Uh, is it going to rain water or rain beer? I mean, you know, there's water in it. We don't condone the these activities here at Savings Row Show. But, okay, go ahead and spend the right. AP point. Okay. As Aki mm -hmm. sips their beer. <laughs> and am I just rolling my regular or anything special? Uh, just roll your regular. Boop. Eight. All right. Um, good news. It begins to rain. Bad news. If you want to call it bad news, it's just rain. It is going... 90 degrees down. And you are, you guys are going to reek later. That's rude. Guess we'll need that shower after all. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lenny. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, now it is Kwame and Dahlia's turn. Now, since you have the same initiative, you guys can go at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you want to do something, so take your turn. I yeah. don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to turn around and shoot in the opposite direction of the targets. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me uh, dexterity range. 12. Oof. Um, you shoot your arrow... Nothing weird happens. It goes in a straight line, and you see it kind of flutter a little bit, and then it lands in the dirt. You can almost make out something, like, it almost uh, skimmed by. But not exactly. Okay. Discover anything of import? Well, aside from there being invisible things on the field, which I think we all already knew. No. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> Would you rather... Because it's my turn next. Uh, Manny, question! It's your turn now. Yes. Uh, question, would you rather uh, investigate or use your, your time to attack? I'm probably going to try and investigate what's going on here. Okay. Um... So we can't see anything. All you see is beer rain. Beer rain. Okay. Uh um okay. Okay. Um How I want to I want to try something. Um, uh, I guess we need to make sure this is actually a thing. Uh, um, um, see, never mind. They actually suck. Crap. Um, I'll see if I can have a spider sense, but actual spiders suck at saying things. Um, Are that many eyes? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, it, uh, it's all through the sensi sensory, like yeah. they, they feel stuff through their feet. Yeah. But you uh, could ride the magnetic pulses of the earth and float. I am not Magneto. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I think what I'm just going to do, because uh, I don't really know what's happening, uh, I'm just going to wait for something to potentially come to us, uh, is I'm going to crack my knuckles together. Ow! Uh, ow! Jesus! Uh, <laughs> fine! I, mean, like, you know, I did that and actually hit a bone. 
Oh, um, no. I'm good. Uh, but I'm gonna crack my knuckles together and actually come apart the uh, the uh, venom, the fanged fist will um, appear. Um, right. So I will use my AP point and just prep for an attack. Okay. So we'll just say you're kind of holding action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just prep for something. If I feel something bursts against me, that's not the people I know and see. They're getting they're getting hit with a venom strike. All right. As you prepare a venom strike. Oh, what's up? I have something I want to add when you're done. When I'm done or? When you're done. Okay. All right. Through the rain, uh, you hear something faint. I need an intelligence roll from everyone. This is what I'm the best at. Eight. Three. Four. So I also need to say something because you, you, you. I don't think I. I don't think Stephen, you realize how much you nerfed me. Uh, what did I do? My main stat. One of my main stats is intelligence. Each time I fail in intelligence, I get a negative one to my intelligence roll. <laughs> and uh, all because of the glitter yeah. thing. So I now have Dude, a I was negative two. Talking about the two. glitter thing, you don't. No, have to do no, that. no. It's happening. Uh, I have a negative two. To uh, intelligence, uh, checks now. Uh, now I do, not now. So technically, that was a three. Now, yeah. Like you said, oh, God damn it. Take your theater herpes. Get away from me. We're going to have to give you like a deep clean or something. <laughs> you know this go, is more the than problem with I have. having hair like ours. The glitter never goes away. I am not ready to look at my hair. No. I'm joking. I feel so bad. Um, <laughs> Dahlia, I, did you get did I get an intelligence roll from you? Not yet. Oh. Four. Oh boy. Um, we did a real good job. Everybody. All none of you can see anything except for Lennox. Lennox, you notice something round, kind of floating aimlessly through the rain. Uh, it's made a little more clear, but as you notice it, uh, from that sphere you see Manny's sword flying at you. And I need a defense roll. Hey, okay, let's see. Uh, poop. One. <laughs> you are lucky it rolled like poop. So you take three as Manny's sword comes by and uh, slices at your shirt a little bit. Okay. My sword, mine. Uh, is it my turn? It is your turn. So I want to add an addendum to my last turn because I would actually really like to be able to roll for my shield to see how much of a defense bonus it gives me. Oh, I didn't consider that. I like that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make it your uh, strength and defense. Okay. Six. Okay. Okay. Um, how about we say we manifest that as a plus three to your, your defense rolls? Okay. Sounds cool. Good. Yeah. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. But if you do. Yeah. All right. Cool. And so, uh, once again, uh, uh, well, not once again, uh, this time, uh, as they kind of hold their shield up just to kind of give them a little bit of, of, uh, protection while they do this, uh, the wings of Ma'at, uh, burst from their back and kind of spread out around the space to like almost like a radar kind of a thing in order to reveal some truth to me uh, as a put like what's attacking us where is it like I want to I would like to answer at least one of those questions okay uh, I want you to give me a uh, range and power roll but do not subtract two range and power Hold on just a second. Let me spend the AP. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, That was wrong. Intelligence power. Uh-huh. Intelligence power. Do not. And that's why I waited to see what Manny was going to do. Uh, that's a 12 minus 2, so 10. Or not, not I said not without minus, minus two. 2. So 12. Okay. Uh, between, uh, Lenny, did you point, at, point out the thing you saw? Yeah, I would have. All right. Between Letty pointing it out, you see that the entire field is covered in stitches. 
kind of like it's been run through a sewing machine. Like someone's been cutting it up and putting it back together. And you also see, well, I'm so glad I have roll 20 so I can have a visual for it. Nope, hate it. Yep. You see a fly of about uh, eight, yeah, I guess it's about eight feet long. I, I got nobody, a little bored before no, a game and doodled on it. Don't judge nobody me. Nobody needs this in their life. Absolutely no one. Yes. Um, now the four of you, because Dahlia was here for this, at least in spirit, would know this is one of the scarecrows. Giant the, insectoids. Yes. The create uh the finder of lost things and the creator of portals, Gap. <laughs> Gap attack. Cool. Finder of finder uh, of lost things and creative of portals. Yep. I, I start yelling out to the rest of them, describing what I'm seeing, kind of pointing in the direction I see it coming from. And then be be careful of my sword. Be careful. And I think that's my turn. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, so, Obviously, I'm going to run back up from where I was at the back of the quad to try and get back like closer to them. So that if when you run, them, I need you to make a uh, speed and intelligence roll. Okie dokie. Intelligence speed. Here we go. Four. I believe four. in you. I rolled a four. Manny, you start running and... You almost run headlong into a locker. Somehow you're back in the uh, locker room. What the fuck is going on? Around you, you see uh, more stitches in the world. This is... Uh, uh. I'm going to spend the rest of my turn heading towards the door of the locker room. <laughs> I, you will be back in combat next round. I'm not going to be that big of a jerk. Even though you did roll four. Alright. Next up is Lenny. Um, hmm. Do I want to... Our main protector is not here, but I can do some damage. I'm not really the defender. Um, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna... Can, I'm gonna fire a, a tight little beam, a, a, a liquid pain at it, and hope hope for the best. Liquid pain. <laughs> Throw that beam at the nasty bug fly. Liquid pain. Liquid yeah. pain. <laughs> Turn away. You guys from never America. thought chocolate rain would ever happen on the show, <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, I shoot it. Oop. Uh, Ooh, that's twelve to hit. And that's a miss. Yeah. I assumed it was it's in front of Manny. So, yeah. <sighs> the problem is, I don't know how much in front of Lenny or Manny it is. So I don't know if I want to do a reroll because I maxed out one of my dice, the 12. So I could only possibly add six to this. And the chances of getting higher than 12 is much lower. You can just use a reroll and just reroll one die. You don't have to reroll the. Okay, 12. yeah. Then I will reroll the d8. Uh, All right. So uh, I forget which one that is. So I'll just reroll. Your d8 was a two. Yeah, I'll just reroll the d8. Three. So it's 13. 13 hits. Okay. Ah, Woo. There it is. Okay. 14 BC. So we'll do some damage. 14 damage. Oh, boy. It is not going to like this. You managed to hit Gap for complete with your action lines. God, I wish I could do that. And you bring it down significantly. Uh, you chip the wing and suddenly it kind of blinks itself into existence. You see multiple eyes. But Dahlia, I'm going to need an intelligence roll from you real quick. Two. You don't notice anything weird about it. No. Everything is going exactly as it should be. Everything is awesome. Everything. All right, Dahlia and Kwame, you're up. I'd like to call on Persephone and lay down a field of flowers that go from 
red all the way to pink like a, like a pride flag but i'm trying i'm trying to see if they get transported somewhere else and like the green flowers are not in the right sequence I'm trying to figure out how this field works okay mm. um that sounds like intelligence and power 14 that's good that's, that's actually that great. critted that's great. both of my dice oh yeah. So that's a crit. Uh, Manny, from where you're standing, suddenly there are blue flowers surrounding you. You don't know how you got blue flowers out of here, but don't worry about it. Uh, the pink up here I mean, over I there. I think a wild guess is where the, the, the flowers came from. <laughs> yes. But in the locker room, in this economy, the red flowers are over there, the yellow here, and Dahlia has created a map, effectively, of where the stitches lead. Ooh, I love that. Laviana. She's Mika got a crit. I got to respect the dice. And she's smart. Oh, uh, I don't know where Manny is, but I tried to make a flower field that's in rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. But as you can see, it didn't happen. Purple so. <laughs> yes, those two as well, Kwame. <laughs> Black, white, light blue, white, and then it's I'm good. <laughs> so, there's, there's a lot of portals. Just try to get back to the color you need to be at. Okay, from where I'm standing, what's around me, or more importantly, what's around Gap Attack? What colors uh, are around Gap Attack? <laughs> Gap is currently, uh, because of Lenny's very successful shot, um, Actually, I did the math wrong on Lenny's shot. He actually did even better than our shot. Uh, you notice it has left a trail of sickly green blood on top of the yellow flowers heading towards what you assume to be the blue flowers. But the blue flowers are also where Manny is. Yep. Oh, snap. I say, well, I don't know where Manny is, to be fair. Um, but I say, hey, hey, go back here. And I'm going to run using my athletic speed. Because, oh. you know, I'm totally a, I can't get this, dang it, I can't, can't get this flag. I'm totally a, 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 a athletic person. I'm done. Um, and I, yep, uh, your butch. uh, yes, totally butch queen. We're on this. Uh, and you know, I, I run towards, uh, and I like to jump up in the air and I'm not actually trying to attack. I'm trying to, as I pull my hands apart and I like, almost like toss my arms around. I'm using some of the web that form to attempt to like grapple him, uh, oh. grapple them um, to just try to make sure they can't get out. If it does them, it's sure. But the mo the important thing is that I, I guess trap them into a, a web that I'm creating with me in it. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a magician's attack roll. Even though you're not going for damage, I still feel like a tackle is still kind of yeah. an attack. So it's uh, my. I am intelligence power, correct? Yes. Or, or, or power. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-two. Sixteen. You absolutely managed to uh, get onto the back of this giant fly thing. Uh, it smells look worse than it looks mm -hmm. somehow. And you also notice something interesting, Kwame. It's on a pulley. Um, um, I think, I think Gap Attack is, is a puppet. This is weird. I have a trap though. Who's pulling yes, the it, strings? It comes crashing down uh, the yeah! head uh, with Kwame on its back. Uh, Kwame, Half of you is in the locker room behind Manny. The other half is hanging out on the field. Uh, you are not severed or anything. It just kind of looks like you were playing Portal. Oh, hey, Manny. Hi. I have Gap. Uh, I think I do. It's, it's, it's weird. Do they have oh, a sword? Moving. Stop moving. Do they have a sword? No, no. Do they have a sword? No. No. 
Do you know where my sword is? No, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Just trying to keep them from moving. The next panel in the manga is cutting back to Lenny and Dahlia with a little blinky line around the sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Wherever there is. Dahlia, it's your turn. Well, technically, it was your turn during Kwame's turn, but... Um, well, she went. She did. The, I already um... went. I did the flower field. Oh, you did. You made I the mapped flower... everything for everyone. Yes. Okay. Time for well, Gap Attack's turn. It is Gap Attack's turn. Gap Attack is not happy. Stop it. So, with my grapple, what is it? Was it given it? What condition is it given it? Just so I know. Uh, I'm going to say it's been grapple twelve. Okay. It's pretty rough. Um, right there. It it rolled an yeah. eleven, which will work it is a successful attack however it is below the 12 so it is going to lower uh one of its die can't okay. lower that one so it will lower this to a d10 uh kwame you see large spikes come jutting out of this bee oh bad idea. Bad idea. Uh, it's a um it's going to try to stab you it does succeed it did beat your Defense, so I need to roll defense. Well, yes. it beat your initiative. I need to roll defense. I need to roll defense. Okay. Hope you're ready for this. Hope you're ready for this good old defense. Hope you're. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a crit on my D4. I'll take it. You sound so proud of yourself. I am. Uh, you know what? A crit is a crit is a crit is a crit. Is a crit. Is a crit. <laughs> Kwame, you take seven damage as the spike, ah! as the stinger just kind of jabs into your shoulder. I dare you! Oh, this hurts! Ah, this is why I'm not a guardian. But you're still trapped. Ha <laughs> ha! He's Man. having way too much fun with this, honestly. Kind right. of is. It's a little concerning. Uh, I think Manny is going to try and find the the set of flowers that will lead them to back to the field. Uh, is that the, is that the, 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 the set of flowers that Kwame is currently hanging out of? Is you that can... the only way I can get back onto the field? It's one of the ways. Uh, I'm going to try and find another way. Cause I'd like, I'd love to have the element of surprise when I finally chop this thing in half. Um, coming through the very same hole is going to kind of ruin the effect. So I'm going to look for a back door, I guess, to this field so that I can get right up with, with Dolly and Lenny. All I right. will also say, uh, as I got in, I would have been still screaming, this thing's like on a pulley system or something. It's like a puppet. Do something right. about that. I got you. Thank and, you. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, do I get like a, a strong impression of which door would be the... like the Which uh, color of flowers would be the right one to jump through? Yes. Um... You notice, uh, because of what Dahlia created and the fact there's blue flowers beneath you, you begin to run and hop through another portal and the flowers are green. And you see, oh, colors. So green leads to yellow, leads to orange, leads to red. Yeah. So I'm just going in rainbow order. Cool. All right. Exactly. Uh, You're going yeah. backwards. Sure. Then I'll jump through the green ones. See what that All right. me. Uh, let's go ahead and why don't you give me a, uh, speed dexterity roll. I won't make you spend the AP for, point for this, though. Okay. Uh, six? Six. All right. I'm going to say that gets you, you're about on orange by the end of your turn. Okay. Yeah. So. Somewhere uh, we'll find it. The rainbow connection. Oh, connection. <laughs> the lovers. The dreamers. And me. Uh, just a quick reminder to our chat: we are I am five. Concerned. <laughs> we are si five subs away from our confessions uh, of a teenage drama queen. Of a teenage drama queen, yes. Uh, this time it's oh, Game uh, of Thrones edition. Oh, uh, I thought you said Kim Fessions. And I was like, I like that, but then like confession, but you, you said drama queen. I'm like, does she mean phantom queen? But no, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, okay. I will say, I will say if Tumblr wasn't dead and if I could find 
the skill within me to make art. I would do an ask blog, like one of those old ask blogs from the uh, 2010s. Oh yeah. Uh, all about Kim. Goodness. I would absolutely do that. But yes, we are five away from Ki uh, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, Game of Thrones edition. And we are 25 away from Shots of Power, which I'll explain when we hit. So uh, just letting the audience know that. Next up is Lenny. Okay, so Kwame says there's this, there's strings on this thing. Do do I see like a puppet master somewhere? Can I like try and see a puppet master? Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Oop, a three. Okay. Uh, now Lenny, the way Dad, I'm sorry, Doctor Ash explained this to you. Mm-hmm. Scarecrows need a human vessel. They are incapable of just existing on their own. They're not gods. They're closer to crows. They're dangerous and they like causing pain, but they need a human to do so. If it's anything like your divinity, that means the user has to be nearby. <gasps> Kawame's laying down, but you see like stars, not stars, like a light bulb goes, ah! But I say nothing because you can't hear me. Yes. Uh, with that, Lenny, um, with a three, you look around and you don't see anyone out here. Between the sudden strange brown rain, huh, don't drink too much, it gets you, makes you feel funny, um, and the fact that people were being attacked, you're left kind of by yourself. Okay. Uh, and do I see, uh, so is there still like a, a spinning sword of doom like hanging out near us? Oh, no, no, no. The spinning sword of doom just kind of crashed next to you after cutting your shirt because we can't have an episode without some Lenny skin showed. Okay. Uh, we already have a shirtless Kwame. So, so. then I'm just going to put up like... You can join. Of, I'm going to just put up like a wall of water around me and Dahlia since we're the, out here just standing, standing on our lonesome in an open field. <laughs> we out here. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a defense strength roll. Spend an AP point, please. Okay, defense and strength. Boop, 15. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, you receive a... Uh, suddenly, you get a beer wall of eight around both of you. Good. That's my turn. Okay. Next up is Dolly and Kwame's turn. Comment? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this one this time. Um, I'm going to because I'm still I'm still with this thing, correct? Yes, you are on top of it. It has seemingly grown a spike, and also I am doodling little eyes on it right now. Because I'm not looking at it. I refuse. My my thing has popped out over it. I refuse to look at that thing. <laughs> uh, um, I'm also, I'm, I'm sorry. There's a, now the, I have to look at it on... triangle at the bottom is very questionable. <laughs> what? It's supposed to be a t it's supposed to be a stinger. Is it? it yes! Looks more like a loincloth. <laughs> He's like, eh. if a bee. Okay, it's, if a bee fly monster had a loincloth, it would probably be like that. The problem is, is it, I think it's the color that that that, that I'm taking issue with. <laughs> no, that middle part. That middle part is definitely a tie. He's okay. gonna have yeah, you know an interview what? later. I, I don't or a bib. Clothing. It's a bib. What, what is happening? It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh my god. Either way, Kawame lets go of um uh, the the bug thing, uh gap attack, and I attempt to like roll back out of the um through the flowers through, through the portal back to the other side. Um, All right. Well, okay, uh, part of my leg is out anyway, so I'm just trying to get out of there. Okay, you move from the blue uh, to the indigo. Cool, great. Um, and I, as I'm still laying on the ground, I go, okay, it's not stabbing me anymore. Oh, that sucked. Um, um, I start to look around uh, because uh, Kawame's pretty darn smart uh, and put things together as well. He looks around, he goes, where's the gym teacher? Uh, the gym teacher, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll for this one. You notice the gym teacher has gotten uh, almost every student inside the building 
Uh, they are currently taking role to make sure no one is left outside during uh, rain and possible, uh, you know, bow and arrow attacks. Oh, never mind. I thought, you know, because remember last time, Brendan was attached to to uh, Pi Paimon Pi 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 thing. Um, I, I I was they were the only one that was separate from the. Okay, never mind. We, we have to look for um uh, um the line. I'm going to um uh reach out my hand and um uh Anansi is going to uh, roll down my shoulder, kind of literally roll down my shoulder. And he uh, appears in a, a, a red loincloth and a red tie. Uh, and <laughs> for very obvious reasons. Uh, and I say, uh, can you do the thing? Um, we need to see which web goes to the right line. And I want to use uh, Anansi to um, display a F ton of, um, of like different uh, silk lines, like spatter webs and stuff, and see if he can attach to the actual pulley line that is attached to the gap and see where it goes. He's trying to figure out where it goes. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence. Uh, we'll say range because this is sort of a okay. bigger show. Also, uh, I decided um, because I am going to keep glitter until I can actually get it out. What's going to happen is if I roll under, I get a negative. But if I roll eight, th those negatives just go off. So right now I'm at zero. I'm fine with that. So right now I'm at zero. I, I like this. I like the glitter. All right. Uh, All right. Okay. As long as you uh, like it. As long as you like it. I do because it's fun. Uh, that is a nine. Ugh, and of course, of course, uh, that 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 is another glitter I find. How's a glitter on the spider web? God damn it. Um, that's a nine. Um, I don't want to steal another reroll, so I won't. Okay. Um, I mean, that's are... not bad, but nine's not. Mm, okay. I could do a lot better. <laughs> you reveal a lot of the pulley and Dahlia. I'm not going to make you roll for this. You recognize what this is. This is one of those systems you used at the <gasps> camp. Oh, which one of your theater buddies is behind this mess? Or is it Tyler? Is it Tyler? <laughs> As I did not know Tyler existed until you mentioned him. No, it's not Tyler. I'm just going to throw <laughs> that one out there. I don't pick... I, I I do write these things in advance. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it would have been great. It would have been great. And um, also, uh, thanks to Mel Pamino, uh, we have another uh, draw from the deck of heroes. Ooh. What we've drawn? The Empress Upright. Now, we haven't officially established who the Empress represents, but I am going to go ahead and say it is Kim. Kim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that that's the right. first I'm like, that's Kim. Especially it's uh, tied right. to being tied to a queen. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so here's how this is going to work. Uh, I am going to basically put this onto the table for you guys to grab at. If we had a physical table, there would be a prop. Uh, you can have Kim add a D12 to your roll. Ooh. Ooh. We only get one use of that? One use. And it's not per person. It is one use in general. It is one use. Yep, that makes sense. Woo! Okay. All right. And it, was it the Empress in reverse? Kim would have made the situation worse. Probably because she'd find it funny. That makes I mean, sense. I think she finds... I'm. You want to know what I... Here's what I'm going to say about Kim. I appreciate for that as somebody who has come back from the dead, she finds a lot of reasons to laugh. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a good thing. Agreed. Agreed. Also, folks, we are five uh, dollars away from shots of power, so throwing that one out. All right. Ooh, we're doing shots. Yeah, shots, shots, oh, shots. Man, I gotta drive yeah. later, but I guess I can get a lift. Oh. <laughs> where, where do you have to drive to? In LA, getting a lift right now is super difficult. It's, <laughs> it's, it's incredibly hard. Yeah, I it's couldn't... impossible to get food delivered. It's almost as if, you know, we voted for something, uh, well, some people voted for something that screwed over our freelance workers, and that's why we have fewer of them. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But that's capitalism is hell. Me. Regardless. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Lenny. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Dahlia, you just realized what it was. Quap, and I believe it's your turn. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kwame went, now it's Dahlia's turn. Mm-hmm. Go, Dahlia, go, Dahlia, go. Do I see these pulleys above me? Yes. Uh, they are floating in the ether. You don't... They don't... They're obviously not attached to anything, but yeah. they are there. Um, gosh. <gasps> I know what to do. What do you know what to do? This is a pulley system. And all I can think of is the worst pulley system ever in theater. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. turn out the lights. <laughs> Turn off the dark. Turn off the darks. I... All the weirdos in the world <laughs> are here right now in, in New, New York, York City. City. <laughs> oh boy. People died. Oh, Wait, Lord, Lord, no one died. died. No one no died. died. No one died. Stonewall? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oop, okay. That was a deep joke. That was a I deep know, joke. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, yep. <laughs> But yes, yes, no one died. Okay, good. People got very injured and turned off the dark, but no they one very died. much did. Good to know. Um, I can't imagine people getting injured. It's really bad that I knew exactly where you were going, though. Yeah. And you continue. <laughs> this is, I think, our second Spider Man Turn Off the Dark <laughs> reference that we made. Just okay, this cool. week. <laughs> it's almost as if this, this game is full of theater nerds. Huh. Who'd have thought? Dahlia's instinct is to turn off the lights and to use her umbra <laughs> and make it much darker around where this scarecrow creature is. All right. Turn uh, off the lights for that guy. Okay, you're going to try to turn off the dark. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me an intelligence power. Okay. Man, these character sheets are so nice. Aren't they They really are. 13. All right. We're going to round that up to darkened seven. All right. Speaking of darkened seven, I believe some, uh, uh, roll 20. This is a great chance to plug that, uh, right now roll 20 is doing something with, um, their, uh, their lighting system, uh, Oh, platform. like they're um, oh, what is it called? Uh, um, dynamic lighting. Th- dynamic yes, lighting. They're dynam- yeah, they're doing like a whole festival about their dynamic lighting. They're like doing a huge like rollout of a bunch of really cool new stuff. So if you want to learn how to turn out the dark on Roll Twenty, you should definitely check that out. Absolutely, um, and could- if you run dungeons, it's fantastic. Could I switch the darkened uh, to turn off the dark. I want it to be like stage lights are always shining in this thing's face constantly. Mm, I love that. Turn off the dark. Okay, it has turn off the dark seven. Uh, it does not like it. Good. It's large eyes, and that's when you see it uh, clear as day for the first time. It is a prop. It's a good prop. Oh. But Gap is a prop. Kind of looks like they were made out of uh, chicken wire and paper mache and uh, some, you know, clearly an art department that cares. Probably fiberglass, too. All right. So with it turned off the dark, it's now its turn. It is not loving it. Doubly so, since someone made it lower a whole die size. You went down. You stabbed me. Uh, Gap is going to try to attack you, Dahlia. Of course, you also have a beer shield around you right now, so. (laughs) Okay, it rolled a five. That hits both the shield and turn off the dark, which does lower its, uh, we're going to lower, (laughs) we're going to lower its uh, range from a D8 to a D6. Let's go. Let's go! Yes. It comes flying at you with its big pointy tail stinger, and it just slams into the beer wall that Lenny created. Party foul, dude. Party foul, (laughs) indeed. (laughs) All right, Manny, uh, before you start, go ahead and give me a speed roll. Uh, Dex and speed or just speed? 
Uh, dex and speed. Let's go ahead and give you dex and speed. All right. 13. Okay, you are absolutely right back to where your sword is, and you are with Dahlia and Lenny. Cool. I'm going to look at both of them and go, hi, guys, pick up my sword, bye, guys, jump through the beer wall, and I'm going to, like, just try and slice this this mother as hard as I can. Go ahead and give me a roll. Uh, a nine is A nine's not going to hit. <laughs> We believe in you. Manny, you go flying with your sword and your shield, and it's very cool. It's a non-binary, not fascist 300 representation the world deserves, and you, you just go wide. You go wide. It happens. Why well, you gotta have all of that? The, the beer in that, my that, eyes throws me off. The beer, the beer's not helping. It stings a lot, yeah. You know, know what else stings a lot? Gap attack. Lenny, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use water to attack it because I got this big old wall of water. So I'm just gonna do a magical hit with it. We'll see how well that does. A boom, fourteen. That's a hit. Nice. All right, and then damage of <laughs> Jesus. Damage of, uh, uh, max damage, uh, twenty-two total. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a crit. So what happens with that? Um, so I rolled a one on its defense on top of that. And it had 21 <laughs> hit points remaining. So Lenny, you've destroyed Gap. Fuck. It's dead. It is so destroyed. You see uh, it has just shattered into pieces of fiberglass, chicken wire, uh, paper mache, paint. It's holy shit, Lenny. Wow. That was like um I thought I was gonna like like move out of the way, but just full on stood there. Listen, I'm ace and even I know that was fucking hot. Oh <laughs> I'm just <laughs> If they had made it out of something better than paper mache, maybe it would have held up for a full production, but whatever. Yeah. We need to find out who the puppeteer is. The stagehands, yes. Can we see where the line is leading or is it just like a spectral, it's a spectral police system with no one actually manning it right now? Um, you can follow the police system, even though it doesn't look like anyone was actually manning it. Yes. I'm thinking like, like, like uh, Wizard of Oz, is there, the, where, where's the curtain? Yeah, who's the, who's, no who's the person behind the curtain? Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. You follow the pulley system for a minute, and we no longer need our combat music. It's so good, though. Popping, though, it may be. Um, Popping. As Okay, you know what? Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. Let it out, sir. Come on. Come on. As dank as that music is. Oh, yeah, I think it's not the music. <laughs> Let the roasting begin. <laughs> oh yes, please, please, I need it. I deserve it. That song is very sure. remin reminiscent of all the TikToks. Like R.I.P. That like I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm like what's <laughs> popping? Is, like, oh, is it bussing, Janelle? Is it <laughs> is bussing? I hey. thought we agreed to never use that word again. Oh, did we? Like, I no, wasn't here for bussing. that. Bussing. Bussing. Oh, okay. What did okay. you think I said? I'm not gonna repeat it. I know I what you think I, I said. I don't. I don't know. How about no. we move on? <laughs> we How keep about going. We move on. We move on, and you guys can roast me on Twitter once I'm uh, once I eventually get around this ban for saying all turfs suck, which they do. Yeah, Twitter bans people for all the wrong fucking reasons, and, and they, they verify, verify people for all the wrong people. people. Yeah, I mean, huh? That's hmm. interesting. It's almost like it was an algorithm created to generate controversy and nothing else. Mm, funny that. People are Anywho, we follow the... It takes a moment to follow the trail. And Dahlia, you recognize her before anyone else. Uh, 
Christina Thompson, president of the Drama Club. Ooh, honey. Wow, of course. She's lying on the concrete beneath the uh, uh, football. What do you call those is she bleachers? Unconscious? Bleachers. Yes, bleachers. she is unconscious underneath the bleachers. I take back what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Vindictive is all I heard. Theater people can be so catty. Catty, Anna. Um, she is <laughs> unconscious. So does it seem like she's like dreaming this, or does it seem like um, she just went unconscious? Like because when Brendan, 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 uh, see, so yeah. Pff. When Brendan um, uh, was puppeteering, or not puppeteering, you know, doing what he did, um, he was like fully awake. So, like, is this something that only happens when they sleep? He just doesn't understand it. Um, you can tell she just fainted. Apparently, just fainted. Gotcha. Yeah. She probably has um, no idea what just happened to her. Around her head, a swarm of flies fly around her. Shoot! Shoot! Go away! Does she have like the key on her? Um, you do see a keyhole in her chest uh, with the white key sticking out of it. Oh, uh, forgive me. I'm not trying to touch you. I just, I just, um, I actually, uh, Dahlia, can can you grab? I just, you know, don't want. I don't want to. There's people, what you know, guy touching under bleachers. Can you can hey, you grab yeah. that key? Grab that key. Of course. Wait, what, what, wrap your hand with like um, um, uh, a napkin or, or like uh, your shirt or something. Just don't touch it. I'm going to pull out a pair of gloves. Of course. Why Wait, gloves? That's, a, that's, a, that's a throwback. No, you got gloves. I did get gloves and they're why my uh, AP is, is so high. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fair enough. That's true. That's true. Thanks to, thanks to our Patreon backers. And I'm going to pick up the key with my gloves. Can we get some 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 special weapons too, so we can get more AP? <laughs> um, cool. And as you as you pick it up, I'll like just just hold it out for me, please. Um, and I'll cut my hand around it again with Anansi sitting on my hand, and I'm going to attempt. Cause he doesn't really know what he's doing. He's just thinking about Mrs. Wang. Uh, <laughs> uh and uh, <laughs> that's her name. And it's doctor. And he, oh, yeah, I keep thinking she it's doctor, a doctor. Uh, doctor uh, it's Dr. Dr. Ash. Miss Wang. Yeah, I thought she was, she, we always call her Miss Wang, not Dr. Wang. Is she Dr. Wang? I'm pretty sure. You know what? This could be a prop. This could be a user error. I've always written her down in my notes as Dr. Wang, but I could have actually said Miss. Cool. Well, then Dr. Wang, can we respect those titles? Yes, cool. we, do. we do. Regardless of, regardless <laughs> one way or the yep. other. Cool. That's actually good to know. Uh, then uh, he thinks about what she said about um, him being able to unlock keys and do shit and do the opposite of that. So he's trying to shut it off like he did Brendan's um, key. Right. If it's uh, able to be done. I need you to roll me power and charisma. And use an AP point, correct? Uh, yes. I believe in you. I believe in the thing. Uh, you said power and charisma? Mm-hmm. You guys showed up for a very special episode of New Pantheon. Today. 13. 13. Okay. Uh, what does Kwame turn this key into as he turns it from a scarecrow, a mockery of divinity, into a relic? Hmm. Um, if it was Gap, flies, um, he turns it, I think as he's uh, holding his hand over and Anansi is like kind of going in and out, like using the web to kind of reform it. Um, it gets a little longer. It gets a little flatter at one end and it, be ha it gets, um, uh, that's like horizontal and vertical stripes in that flattened side. Now, as he turns into a fly swatter. As you turn it from a scarecrow into this joke, um, 
you can hear the buzzing of a swarm in your head, Kwame. It is angry and it is vicious and it is powerless against you. Um, you are kind of stricken with a headache though after you're done, but it is mm. gone. And Christina continues to be unconscious. Oh. Whew, okay. Ah. Oh, um, I, I'm not going to ask for some of your good juice. That's just a bad idea. Uh, you should drink got, some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of a headache. Um, eh, we should probably go to Dr. Ash and Dr. Wing and figure out more about these two now that they're different. Now we, yeah, now that we have a couple of them, maybe we can figure it, like, get ahead of the next one, maybe. They keep catching us by surprise. I'd like to see if we can't pinpoint what to look for. Maybe there's some sort of precursor that happens before for an attack. Or maybe we can we can start putting together a chain of events. I don't know. I just I would really like for the other students to like not not get attacked so much. If if we could cut one off at the pass, that would be great. Uh I have a quick question. Uh just not think about it. I got a headache. Did I get a headache from specifically Gap or because I used my power in this way? Why don't you give me an intelligence roll real quick? <laughs> I am currently still at negative two. Sti- nope. Nope. I'm in negative one. Um, it goes back and forth. I had to check the last roll. Um, so I'm at negative one. Oh, thanks for the raid. Oh, the entire, thank you for the raid. Ouch. That's technically a zero. <laughs> you really just wake up and I got a really bad headache right now, y'all. Yeah. That <laughs> headache goes from, oh, that sucks, to, oh, God. Oh, okay, okay, it okay. It hurts oh. a lot, and you're not sure. Oh, I don't like this right now. I don't like this right now. Oh, All right, oh. take a few deep breaths. Oh, uh, I, I, I just need to, um, let's just get this to the doctors and I can yeah. get an ibuprofen. Mm. Now, um, real quick, what did you do with uh, Pyman's key? Uh, I was thinking about that. Um, I don't think they would have given it to Dr. Ash at that moment. I just think, because we've been doing a lot of stuff on our own. Um, so uh, it's probably stored in his room. He probably would have uh, had Anansi like make a box for it just so nothing can actually get out and because it's magically divined, divinely enhanced um it's not going to activate inside. Just like it was just like the the, the relics or the things they saw in Dr. Ash's office like in a box like that. Right. Okay. As the four of you uh I assume you're going to take Christina to like the nurse's office or something first. Uh huh. But yeah, as we'll, the we'll let Jamie you Lee Curtis way. know. You let Jamie Lee Curtis know. You hear the familiar sounds of dun 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 dun. Good afternoon, students of North Point Academy. We got more announcements uh, we left behind. Um, this one's from. Uh, uh, Malapano says that the archery range is currently closed due to unscheduled maintenance. Uh, please mind the gap. There's an extra A in there, and I don't know why. And they also say, um, I don't know about all, you all, but I've had way too many shots. Uh, I'm definitely here for the the Quenny, K W E N N Y, the the pound sign on the phone. Uh, Drinks on me, shot, shot, shot. I don't know what this is, what the quimmy is, but hey, I, you know, I ain't turning down a free drink. Anyways, that's our announcements for the day. You all have a good day. See, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. E. Oof. <laughs> okay, so thanks to our chat. Thank you all so much for that. You have unlocked shots of power. So, first of all, everyone, take a drink. Uh, 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 water is right here. <laughs> so, as the four of you head back, uh, 
with a bow. You realize, oh, we forgot to turn our bows and arrows back in. And you also notice they all have started to resemble your keys. Dahlia, yours is black and floral and beautiful and horrible in equal measure. Kwame's, yours takes uh, cues from Aboriginal art. It is covered in this beautiful spider-like design and there's like eight eyes at the top. We're going to say Ashanti um, art and not Aboriginal. Oh, I'm sorry. Abor- a- Aboriginal is Australia. He's oh. West African. I apologize. That's we got really you. bad. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, is covered in that art. Uh, Manny, yours is covered in hieroglyphics and feathers. And Lenny's, yours is written in a language that has been forgotten for a very long time, showing an elaborate yet entirely doable way for uh, you to well, make beer. And you now all have customized weapons. When you use these, they are dexterity plus four. They do Ooh. not cost an AP point. Ooh, even better. Nice. I'm I'm more of an up in your face kind of fighter, but you know, now and then I get a little bit a little bit of range might not be bad. What's the damage on them if they hit? Is the dex minus four? Uh no, it is uh dex plus three. Thanks. So record Thank that you on your character me. sheet. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, we got we got arrows, y'all. Some of us about to become rangers. Mm-hmm. Power rangers. Hey, baby, baby, baby. Big and funny you mentioned that. We'll talk about that later. As the four of you head towards Dr. Ash's office, uh, the clock tower that overlooks, we no longer have to look at the at the horrible, horrible bug creature. Really quickly, guess out of just a uh, point of order, knowing that we're going to Dr. Ashes, we would have dropped off Christina. I would have got some ibuprofen. I would have went back to my room, got the other key, and then took both of them to uh, Dr. Ashes. That makes perfect sense, and I'm yeah. completely cool with that. Cool. Yes. Fun fact that this is this clock tower is from Oron, because we keep talking about that show. Go watch mm-hmm. it. Um, you arrive at Dr. Ash's office. Uh, Dr. Wang uh, is currently on his desk unconscious. Uh. He is... Uh, he looks up. Oh, thank God it's you four. What happened here? <sighs> Are you okay? Yes, we're fine. She just... Dr. Wang has a power that I know is dangerous, and I have tried to make her stop using it for as long as I've known her, and it has yet to work. (sighs) This is because of Dr. Wang? Hmm? Dr. Wang did this? To herself, yes. I'm sorry, what... She has a power that's like too dangerous, or like I don't understand. Yeah, can you can you rewind that back? He hefts her up, and despite being an older man, uh, Doctor Ash is in shockingly good shape. Morgan Freeman, after all, he carries her to his the couch in his office and puts her down gently. Doctor Wang has the power to. Revert divinities into other things. Uh huh. You notice Kwame's like staring. Oh, okay. <sighs> She's been under the impression that we need more firepower. Doubly so with this thing living in my office. He makes a pointed glare over to the doors of oblivion which now seem to live here. Oh, yes, you missed that. The, the, the door to Oblivion that was in prom is now in Dr. Ash's office. Uh, Kwame moved it there. 
with the help of um, Manny and Dr. Wang. It was hard. Doing this causes a stress on not only the body, but the soul itself. Doing it enough could have some severe consequences. Um, she's. I'm, you see Kawame like stare for a minute. He kind of goes like catatonic as I go get some food real quick because my door dash is here. Um, but continue. But he's thinking. So she's. What did she do to cause her to fall unconscious? Walking by the doors to oblivion and making sure he gives it another death glare, Dr. Ash heads towards his desk, and in front of him sits four new keys. She took some relics she had found at other places and decided to bring them back, if you would. Okay, and she's been trying to convert them into stuff? No, she took relics, converted them back into keys. So that she could, like, um, empower Give them to students. An, an army of child soldiers or whatever? That seems yes. a bit much. I mean, doesn't she think that we're enough? She knows how dangerous the All Father can be. Yeah, but we fought so many in the past. Like, we were super capable. And this really kind of gets interesting because you start to run the risk of statistically getting a bad person with a power and empowering a student that's not going to use the power correctly. It's like in that movie in the uh the what do they call it the mcu it's like that um that soldier guy Captain do you remember America? that scene yeah Cap where it, you might give the power to someone and they're not like him and then they don't they don't use you, it right you end up with the red skull yeah that guy well, Roman oh, yeah, he was gross. that was even though i haven't seen these movies i uh that was more or less my argument as well. Also, I feel like bringing more people into the situation can do more harm than good. It's barely ethical that we're in this situation. Yeah. Bringing in a bunch of other students would be super unethical. Yeah. I mean, like, the worst... It... Go ahead, Lenny. No, I was going to say, like, the worst that's happened so far is, like, Nick got a key on accident and, like... Yeah. It but really nearly we... screwed up his entire life. Yeah, and, like... At least we have Kwame with us who, if someone finds out about everything or if, like, too many non-powered students see it, he they can, like, uh, rearrange the reality of it. But if, like, another group does something like that, it's going to get too big and we can't expect Kwame to fix it all the time. Kwame comes out of his uh, catatonic state. Oh, sorry. Um you had to repeat everything you said for me in like you know five <laughs> seconds or less. Uh, but um, reverting keys into relics and vice versa is Dr. very Wong. strenuous on the body and soul. Doctor yeah. Wang is trying to make her all, is thinking that this fight against the All Father requires more soldiers. That's like She's way trying more to convert, and we're more arguing students. against it. Yeah, um, basically turning more students into soldiers is super unethical. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, uh, um, so. Mm. Um, and I pull out the box with Brendan's key. Uh, cause I don't think we turned it into a relic. I think we just just shut it off. You, yeah, you never mentioned yeah. turning that into a relic. Yeah, um, I didn't mention this either. You told me that. Um, but still, I was like, um, and I place that down on the table, and then I like pull out the fly swatter, um, and then I put that down on the table. Um, mm. so. Oh my god, this headache. Um, did Dr. Wang um, have headaches when she started doing what she was doing? Yes. 
And how long uh, did it take for her to become like that? This is after she converted four relics into four divinities. <laughs> um, and you know, though we are different types of, of, of storytellers, we still have that same ability. Yes. Oh, dang. You think maybe like the reason why you have a headache is like kind of tied to the same reason why uh, why she's uh, unconscious or whatever? If you were any other person, I would I would judge you for the lack of, of following, but it's okay. Um, yes. Um, but I like, I can't stop there's there's any points he okay, counts on his finger. There's there's four more scarecrows. Yes, there are. So what happens if I get to six? No, <laughs> that's not you know. You know, sometimes the storyteller doesn't need to know the end of the story. Look, George R. R. Martin didn't even know the end of his story, and look what happened. Um, I'm just um, just gonna let that sit. Uh, but we did two. Two's done. Two's done. Kwame, if you were to use your power without thinking of the consequences, more than you already have. And we're not talking about your father and we're not talking about your basketball team. We're talking about taking effectively gods and changing them from one type of object to another type of object. The strain on your soul might remove it from your body. Uh huh. And or um, this isn't to like you know I'm making the sacrifice play. That's not what this is. Uh, but we have to stop them, and we uh know the cost potentially of doing what we do. So. Um, it's not that I want to stop. I didn't ask to, you know, tear my soul apart. I didn't know that's what I was doing. But, um, I can't be the storyteller if I don't continue the story, even if that story is a bad one. So, I get what you're saying, or whatever, about, like, sacrifice, but, like, We've never needed to do that. Every step of this way, people have told us uh, we can't do it without, you know, great costs. And then we do it our own way and we succeed. So I think it's, it's a little too early to talk about how there's only one way to do it. Um, I want something to be very clear. I have a long life to live. I have things to do. I don't plan on stopping that anytime. I am 17 that is too early to be thinking about moments like this. This is not in game. Nothing's being deleted. But it seems like the only way to calm them down so far is to, um, I guess, what I was doing, re revert them to a dormant state. But if that's going to affect me in a different way, if we don't have another option, it's kind of what I have to do. Well, I, I'm going to find another way. I, I promise you. I think we can all find another way together. I mean, you are part of the team, Kwame. Yeah. And that's what we do for each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm for sure I'm not going to let some adult, and uh, no offense, Dr. Ash, some adult tell us like how things are supposed to be, because they're always wrong. There's always an 
there's always something new that can be discovered. That's the, that's the definitely, yeah, there's always a new way to do something. Look, if we could find that, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't want to have this headache. It really hurts, okay? But, um, uh, we're gonna figure it out. It's concerning, at least. And as you hand over the fly swatter and the key, all of you hear laughing from the doors of oblivion. And that is where we're going to call this episode of oh. New Pantheon Academia. Oh, Thank you all very much for tuning in. And as we go out, we have reached our sub goal for the episode. So as we go out and do our plugs, we are going to go ahead and do a Game of Thrones confessions. This is great. I've seen like three episodes. Um, are these confessions? We, we joked earlier, but are these like... Bad confessions, things we don't like, things we do like, or we all... We, 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 an embarrassing we thought like, or an embarrassing okay. thought or confession. Like, like whatever takes. a fandom confession means to you. Okay. I would 100% date the hound. I think he's very attractive. I would call that man daddy. That's my hot take. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that <laughs> mind blowing. Where sweet. can we find you, Mika? My God. Uh, I mean, it's, <laughs> like everybody, everybody has. Like, I'm not here to yuck somebody's yum. Yeah, you can yuck them a yum. I know that. I'm not gonna yuck know. a yum. I'm just shocked. I did not see that one coming. But go you. <laughs> go you. You like what you like, and I respect it. Period. It's the personality, really. Um, hi, I'm RP Mika. I have questionable. Um, interest in people but hey i own it you can find me at rip miko on anything you can come on my twitch streams where you will 100 percent see me thirsting over similar people like the hound um mostly like michael myers ghostface pyramid head all of them pyramid head all day though that's pyramid that, head all day yes. all yes. day He's like, got that how cake. People, uh -uh. Um, how people have been simping over lady dimitrescu is how i feel about pyramid head period same cb he does have a right head. Yeah, yes, he does. It's a giant pyramid. fleshy mound underneath a pyramid. And as, have you seen that as, ass, though? Yeah, he's got so much cake, though. As have you seen asexual, the body, though? As an asexual, I don't need him to have a head to kiss. I just need to sit there and appreciate him. Somebody to be colored. So yeah. Someone to cuddle. So I want to cuddle. I can cuddle. All right. All right. All right. Just put a I'm pillow on cuddle. it, and you could cuddle. Anyway, oh, gracious. You can find me Monday to Friday on my Twitch channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, who would like to go next? Uh, I'll go next. I I will never forgive the show for the way they just did Jon Snow dirty like all the time. Like John, John deserved better. Just all around, just never never could catch a break. And I love Kit Harrington too. Like. I, I just super adore that dude. Um, but I, I'm gonna I could sit here for days and talk about oh, all yeah. the characters I feel they did dirty. Um, and all of the actors who like in the end, like uh the actor who played um oh, why am I blinking on his name? Uh the who played his his older half brother or his older cut like his cousin technically. Um the, king, the, the first king in the north, the one that got Rob, Rob. started at Rob Stark. Richard, so, Richard. Uh, Richard, yes, Richard. The, 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 the stuff that he's done since then is freaking phenomenal. And the like, bodyguard, the bodyguard is so good. Like, like, and just, he's in internals. I'm Both just, of them are. And he's internal. Yeah. And I'm just like really looking forward to everything they do now that Game of Thrones is over because it's just like, yes, let's utilize these talents here and see what these people are actually capable of because. Oh boy, did I feel like some people's uh, abilities got super squandered during that show. Anyways, yep. um, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. It's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And my entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E 
A-K-I. And hopefully soon we'll have some news about the second season of Let's Get Wild Map. I'm going to leave that to, I'm putting him on the spot right now. I'm going to leave that to CB. Um, and uh, of course, you can catch me right here on Saving Throw every Wednesday for All Games No Masters, the show where we show you a bunch of GM-less TTRPG systems that you can play. Uh, so if you've been wanting to play tabletop RPGs and you can't find a GM or you don't want to GM, this is the place where you can find out all of the different resources and tools and games that are available that you can play if you have a group of friends to put together, uh, even if it's just one other person. So yeah, definitely don't miss that. That's at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. And then of course, uh, you can catch me in all other types of places uh, throughout the week as well. Nice. Yeah, right. I'll go. I'll go ahead and take it from there. Um, I have. Uh, I have. I, I have a lot too, but I'm gonna say three that are on my mind. And it's funny because I had three and I can't think of the other two now. But one for sure is they did. Not only did they do Caitlyn Stark dirty, I was ready for Lady Stoneheart. Yes, I know, right? Because Lena Headey, uh, uh, who who plays uh, old girl, yeah. she may posted a Instagram photo of a stone heart and it was like she's coming and she didn't um, i even so I put was, them in the crypts and had the best way for lady stoneheart to come out but nope i was ready for it it's okay um secondly uh i wish they leaned i know they i know why they didn't but i wish they leaned a little more into the magic of game of thrones because there's so much in it whether it's uh melisandre uh, if they the you know, the Lord of Light, or even going into like the House of Black and White, uh, I just think they could have done a little bit more. Even like the Children of the Forest, I think they could have did a little more um, on that front. Uh, last but certainly not least, Oberyn Martell could pin me against the wall, and I'd say yes, sir. That's it. Um, that's, that's pretty much every. That's like me right up against everyone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No, no. Yep. My actual, my actual one is that death made no sense, and I'm pulling it at that. He did all that. I guess it didn't make sense because ego got the best of him. But I'm just like, no. Mm-hmm. It makes me mad that he lost. That that's how I feel. Um, he hi. technically did it. In the end, he, he still got that got that kill. It just happened he right did. after he died. True. 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 Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bar. Critical Bar across all social media channels. You can find me many places. I am a, a professional uh, tabletop player, like like all these folks are. Uh, I'm a partner Twitch streamer, so watch me do all the things on Twitch all the time. Um, you can catch me many places. Uh, a couple of things I want to shout out. Yes, Let's Get Wild Mount uh, is coming back in July. I just need to uh, finalize some stuff on the back end as far as like sponsorships and all that. And then we'll have a definitive date. Coming back, uh, just stay tuned. Look at all the socials for all that jazz. But it is coming back in July. Heck yes. Um, um, I want to shout out. Um, um, I'm, I'm on Wednesday. On Wednesdays, no, I'm not. I don't have anything on Wednesday. On Fridays, I'm a part of Tompo, which is over on Rock Punch ATL, which is a uh, D and D show uh, set in the islands of Sina Una, which is a D and D campaign setting inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture. Uh, on Saturdays, obviously, as Wild Mount. Uh, before this show, now on Sundays, you can check out Dungeons and Durax, which is a new D and D campaign DM'd by me, and that it has so fucking good. Hell yeah! Uh, and it is a black AF D and D campaign. Well, it's more so, I guess, all, all, all black uh, cast, um, including Milady Confetti, Cipher of Tear, J Rock the God, and Chelsea Bites. Uh, check that out. And on Mondays, uh, well, uh, Realm Smith, we're on break right now. We come back next week for season four of Into the Mist. Um, that's me, I think. Well, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> and let's toss it over to Mostly Eric. Okay, so Peter Dinklage absolutely deserved all the accolades he received and more so for that show. But that bit where he's defending himself, it's just the same white dude who's angry that that's what gets the awards it just ain't it's just a white man who's who's yelling a lot and that's what that's what gets you awards he i I hate that stuff it's just every time a white man wins an award it's a scene where he's yelling at people and i don't understand it and there are so many women who got nominated for the show that never won a single fucking award and i'm just like also okay then my favorite character is uh, Beric uh, Dundarian. I think he had the best arc in the entire show. <laughs> He's just like, listen, I don't want to be alive anymore, but I got to keep going until someone stops bringing me back. <laughs> and he came back for the right moment. 
I think that was done very well. I think it was done very well. All right. So you Where can, can find... We find you, Eric. Uh, they can find me mostly Eric on all the social medias, including Twitch, and they can catch me on the Board and Barrel, which is a uh, board game show I'm doing in like an hour uh, on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. Oh, yeah. And this Thursday, uh, we're going to be playing uh, the new Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance on uh, it'll be on this channel as well as my channel and, and other streamers. It'll be Dom, me and a, and a couple other streamers. We're going to start playing through that Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific. Very fun. And I guess uh, that leaves me. I stopped watching Game of Thrones because it killed my husband, though. Who was uh, the scorpion. Carl Drogo? No. No. The scorpion. Uh, Oberyn Martell. Oberyn oh, Martell. Duh, 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 duh. I was like, who was? Yeah, no, you... I only ever watched one season of the show, and it was the one he was on, and I kind of got into it. Then he died, and I immediately walked away. So you had the full Game of Thrones experience. Yes. You truly, <laughs> I, you surely did. I watched that. Yeah. He was Red a Viper, Viper, Scorpion. I don't know. I, I don't watched care. his death episode with a bunch of friends who had read the books when it aired. And I remember him parading around like, I won the fight and I was so happy. But then all of my friends had to get up and leave the room and go watch from the doorway because they were like, I really don't want to see what's coming next. And I was like, what's that? But he won. But but he won the fight. And then he got his head smashed. And I realized. Well, remember, I remember, he didn't yell in excitement 81. He was gloating that he was just trying to, you know, he yeah. had the upper hand and yeah. he just, he didn't watch. And then he, well, he can't got, see now. He got <sighs> Yep. Well, I also like to point out this is a show I've seen one season of, and I can tell you in great detail exactly how it ended. Thank you, Internet. But my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit uh, until they tell me to stop stop with the name, which they'll do eventually. I'm going to keep it. Uh, you can also follow, we're also going to be uh, promoting. Uh, this show more on new Pantheon RPG on all social media platforms. Give that a follow. Give them a like when we post stuff. Pretty, pretty please with gumdrops. Uh, I do have an exciting announcement to make. I will be working with Son of Oak Studios, creators of City of Mist. Very soon. We will go into detail about what that is soon. I hope we can make the announcement, but until I get the paperwork, I'm not going to. Uh, with that out of the way, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, the whole nine yards. If you're not watching us live, if you are watching us live, thank you so much. Uh, special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. And also, if you want to have a canonical uh, new Pantheon Academia experience, we are still doing a Discord roleplay server. You do not need to be a Patreon backer. It's completely free. You just have to join the Saving Throw Discord. Uh, we'll walk you You'll make a character. It's very fun. It's very cute. I'm very excited about it. So make sure you check that out. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting? Please remind me, folks. Anyone? No? Okay. So with that out of the way, thank you all so much for tuning in this week. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>